Welcome back. Today we're in Weybourne and Weybourne is in Norfolk, is right at the top of the Norfolk coast. But it is a little bit windy here this afternoon so I'm hoping the camera is not drowning my voice out with the wind too much but um, yeah we've got our usuals on this afternoon. We've got big rods with pulley panels at the moment, we've got squid out on those and we've got our Wessex rigs and at the moment I think we're both running ragworm on them again and then as the day goes on we'll swap and change around uh, depending on if we catch anything or not but uh, yeah at the moment we've been in the water now was it about three o'clock been in water probably about 35 minutes uh, no bites yet but early days I'm hoping the water's changed and it's starting to come in now can't really tell yet um, but yeah if we get anything We'll come back to you. Right, well, it's half past three. I've just brought the baits in, rebaited. The worm, there was no worm left on it been out about 20 minutes so I'm going to give them 15 at the moment for from now on to uh, bring the bait in check it yeah had no bites yet one guy down here was brought in a little dab or a little flatty I saw um, but that's all we've seen come out yet <laughs> Jamie's not had any bites but it's early days so it does look like the sea is starting to come in now Few more fishermen turned up. I mean, it's the busiest fishing day I think I've seen for a long time. There's a few more guys setting up down there now. So yeah, there's plenty of bait in the water. Is that a good thing? No, this many people fishing. I suppose it gets more scent out there, but there's more hooks to choose from and more bait to get. So uh, yeah, have to wait and see. Right, I just brought that one in and unfortunately there's a fair bit of weed out there that's proper tangle but at the same time I've got a tiniest little dab so uh, the fish is fish not blanked there's not a lot happening at the moment but uh, I'm not going to complain I'm going to sort that tangle out get this little boy back and get back out there but one fish so far Right, well I sorted that rig out and uh, yeah, it wasn't actually my rig that was cut up in the weed or anything. It was someone else's leader that I pulled in. So with that, I got a free weight and a quick release and a couple of leg clips and a couple of bits and pieces. I'll take that home, cut it down and chuck it in with bits and bobs. But yeah, well, one fish, he's gone back lovely. I'm rod, both rods are back out rebated. Let's see if we can bring in some more. Well, I had a massive bite. <laughs> I nearly pulled the rod off. And out of that, I have a fairly small baby smooth hound. Look at him. Yeah. He is so nice. No wonder people love catching these things. They are literally a mini shark. Oh, he's knocking my camera over and everything. There we go. But um, yeah, I'm going to go and put him back and uh, get the rod back out. That was on the Wessex rig and on the lugworm, um, on the ragworm even. So uh, <laughs> he's grunting. But yeah, I'm going to get him back. Awesome.
right, well, it's five o'clock. It's three hours till high tide. And we've not had really a bite in the last hour or so. <coughs> uh, it's all pretty quiet, really. I mean, I caught two fish, but I thought we'd catch more up here. But it's one of those days, it's bright sun. I mean, if anything, I'm burning the back of my neck. It's so sunny and it's hot. And uh, so nice bright day like this, the fish probably are not coming in quite so close. But still, plenty of time. Probably the most important part of the tide to fish next, the next three hours, and uh, see if we can get anything else. I had a nice chap down here come up and have a, a little chat, asked what I caught my smoothie on, and uh, yeah, and that was just on ragworm. And at the moment I've got, um, the Wessex rig is out with rag on the bottom hook. I've put a bit of sand deal on the top hook. Uh, I don't know what it's like out, out there, if there's sand deals out there or not, so I thought I'd give that a whirl. And then on the pulley panel I've got squid, but I've got that tipped with a bit of rag as well this time, uh, just to give it something a bit different. But um, yeah, still pretty quiet, plenty of time to go. But it's a lovely day. It's a Saturday, not working, can't really complain. Even if we don't catch much fish. Unfortunately, Jamie's not caught anything yet. Had no bites at all, really. But, um, which is a shame for him. But again, hopefully, he'll catch something in the next hour or two. But yeah, um, if we have any other action, I'll get back. But for the moment, pretty quiet. Right, well that was a lovely bite and uh, another lovely smooth hound. Hooked him straight through the side of the cheek, poor thing. And uh, I think I'm gonna need my forceps to get this one out. That was on the squid this time, on the pulley panel. So, uh, oh no, I managed to get him out. Just clean him up a little bit. And uh, yeah, it's another smoothie, lovely smoothie. Is about, I'd say probably, no to tell, it's probably about 18 inches, I reckon. Lovely little thing. Well, not so little, but yeah, I'm gonna get him back, get rebated, and uh, yeah, second smoothie. Right, well that smooth hound went back and uh, I've rebaited, I've put the same again on, I've put a whole squid and I've tipped it with a tiny piece of ragworm. The wind's picking up slowly. Right, it's 10 to 6, so it's still, it's about two hours till high tide. And uh, yeah, see if we can get a few more. A couple of nice bass would be good. But I haven't seen any bass come out yet I mean the guys down here have been catching there have been either smoothies or dogs uh, couldn't really see from here but there was that sort of fish and a couple of whiting there's a guy up next to us up there he's brought out the same smoothies or dogs again sharky fish can't really tell exactly which ones they are from here but um, yeah it's productive it's been worth the trip two hour drive to get two smoothies I'm happy with that but yeah we keep going keep trying
seven o'clock. We got an hour till high tide, and it's all sort of picked up and got a bit rough. The uh, current is uh, yeah really strong now. I've had to change all my weights over, and uh, yeah just to keep the bait in one place. The wind's picked up, but it is supposed to do that, and then supposed to drop a little bit later. But at the moment, it's quite strong, current strong not really getting any more fish not getting any bites so baits disappearing so i don't know if there's crabs out there stripping it off but yeah we're bringing them in literally after 10 10 minutes and uh yeah there's just nothing left on them so uh yeah hopefully we get at least a couple more before it reaches high tide and then uh see what happens for at least an hour on the way out but at the moment it's uh, all quiet got a few hours left to go right well it's high tide now it's eight o'clock and uh i've had one white in i didn't bother getting the camera up for that it was only tiny and that was about half an hour ago i've rebated i've chucked back out for the lull and then uh, hopefully we'll get a few more bites when the tide turns but at the moment uh, not a lot happening still really people are starting to leave now and uh, yeah been quiet for the last couple of hours but still we're going to give it maybe another hour hour and a half something like that uh, and then we're going to head back so it's a two hour drive back anyway and then uh, we should be back by midnight 11 o'clock something like that right it's 20 to 9 now I'm hoping the tide's changed and now he's on his way out. <coughs> Young lad up here just give us some fresh lugworm so we got another bait for our last little arsenal until we head home. But yeah, still pretty quiet. No bites at all really at the moment. So I'm hoping the tide changed for another hour or so. We might pick something up, but right now, it's all quiet, it's getting quite nippy now. It's been lovely all day, but the sun's going down and it's getting quite cold. So, with any luck, next hour or so, we get a few more fish and then we go home. That was a lovely bite. The sun's starting to go down and I've got a double pouting. And that's on the uh, the lugworm that young lad just gave us. So, really nice. Hopefully I can get these hooks out. They haven't taken them down too deep. No, that one's out. Let's just move this line out way. Yeah, look at that. Lovely little fish. Nice little pouting. These things, you get scales everywhere with these. Oh, come here you. That one. That's it, that's him out as well. That's it, you can tell they're pouting. They're a bit fatter than white in. And I don't even see that they have a little barb, a bit like a cod. So yeah, lovely. Just check that one. I'll get these guys back. Gun all over my fingers. <laughs> right, we're back in the car. Uh, last hour, we had a few fish. Um, Jamie caught whiting, and he had a rockling. And after those two pouting, I had another white in, and it was a decent size white in, but I didn't bother filming it. It was too dark, and I haven't got my light with me for the camera so i didn't expect to fish this late so yeah well thanks for joining us and uh, hopefully we'll see you again 
please subscribe and we'll see you on the beach next time. Bye.